What's going on? We back with the Boston Clan with Morris, your boy CJ Goodfella. And um, talk about the hypocrisy and the hypocr- hypocrite ass motherfucker Mauricio Suleiman Jr. Um, you know, said he want Deon- he made Deontay Water basically apologize for saying he want to catch a body. But, uh, you know, he didn't want to make Canelo apologize for fucking cheating. You know, this this that bullshit, man. That bullshit, man. You know, you know this this dude is, is a fucking joke. You know, uh, we be crooks. It's definitely under the jun- Mauricio Suleiman Jr. We be crooks. You're going to make Deontay Water apologize because he said he's going to catch a body. Mike Tyson said it at one point. I mean, you know, a few other fighters probably said it at one point. I understand most people was... It was, you know, oh, my God, I can't believe he said that. Oh, my God. I understand it, man. It's just part of the persona that he's trying to build with Bomb Squad. Should he have said it? Absolutely not. I'm not defending the words that Deontay DeBron's bomber said. You know, but at the end of the day, if Canelo would have said some shit like that, they wouldn't have made him apologize. Oh, yeah, Canelo, he really wants to go for it. You know what I'm saying? It's tough enough out here for a black fighter, man. And Marisa Suleiman Jr. don't make it any tougher. I mean, he wanted. it. He still, he still wants, you know, Wilder to fight fucking Pavekin juiced up because the Pavekin team gave him a half a million dollars to be ranked back in the WBC. I mean, the, the boxing is, haven't been more, it, it hasn't been blatantly more crooked than it is now. You know, now it's blatant. You know, back in the day, they used to dress it up a little bit with the mob ties and fixing fights and stuff of that nature. Now it's blatant, though. Like, basically, they saying, we fixing this shit. We writing the script. It's WWE. Ain't shit y'all gonna do about it. Y'all still gonna pay to watch this shit. Basically, that's what they doing. They smushing it in our face. There's no way that Wilder has, should have to apologize before Canelo Wilder should apologize for being irresponsible and, and messing up one of the the biggest Cinco de Mayo's in boxing. You know, it's, it, it don't get no better than a Triple G rematch on Cinco de Mayo falling on Saturday the same night that you fight, you fight in Triple G, it falls on a Saturday. It's not Cinco de Mayo week, Cinco de Mayo weekend. Cinco de Mayo is falling on a Saturday. May 5th is falling on a Saturday, and he fucks it up, you know. And everybody turn around, and you want to defend this guy. You know, how can you defend a guy who fucking cheated? The proof's in the pudding. Look at him before the first fight. Neck big, back big, trap big, arms big, everything beefed up. You know, then he go into the second training camp versus Triple G. And he all flat and leaned out and he got a ashen mask now. Like, come on, man. You know, people always want to see it. But let it been Earl Spence or let it been Danny Garcia or let it been Golovkin himself that got popped. See, I told you that Costa Stan Bum was always juicing. I told you. You know, and people, he could have had a good excuse for it, an excuse that he could have proven. But in y'all mind, he would have been, those fighters would have been, you know, considered guilty before being proved innocent. And now y'all want to use the Canelo's innocent until proven guilty. He guilty as hell. He cheated. But Mauricio Suleiman ain't making him fucking apologize, is he? He defending the dude that blamely cheat. He defended Luis Neary. He defends all the cheaters. So why do they do vital WBC drug testing? Honestly, why? If every fucking cheat is going to be able to pay his way back in like Pavekin, or they're going to slide it under the rug like Bermain Stavern, or whatever it may be, and let Canelo get a G-Pass, Luis Neary get a G-Pass, what are they drug, t- drug testing for? For real, what is they drug testing for? He want to come harder down on Wilder than a dude that 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 basically was about to commit a fucking homicide or aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, whatever you want to call it, versus Triple G. Because that's that's cheating. That should be a fucking charge. Going in there with a physical advantage, and that's what he did. A, a big physical advantage, and, and he probably did it the first fight. And then no telling how far he been cheating. But Marisa Suleiman, I know Canelo not guilty because I want that three percent of that twenty million dollar purse. Like I said, man, they they should just do away with all belts. Boxers should just boxers just take a stance like, man, fuck all these belts. Let's get two good belts in here and one developmental belt, two two championship caliber belts with with a with an international governing body, with a body for North America, a body for Europe, and a couple bodies else wherever boxing hot at. And they come up with three belts, two two real championship belts, and they come up with a developmental belt. For the youth, you know, for the for the for the for the uh, prospects turn, trying to turn contender or something like that, you know, some you know some small intercontinental type belt, you know, because the WBC we be crooks, you know, WBA defending him, I mean, shit, the motherfucking IBF probably defend him, the WBO probably would defend him as well. Come on, they all crooked, man. They all in it for the money. Everything's a money grab, you know. And at the end of the day, we we sick of this corrupt shit, man. Real boxing trail fans, man. I just don't really can't fan them. How they gonna make Deontay Water apologize, okay? But not make uh but not make Canelo apologize and defend Canelo blatantly cheating. 
Marissa Suleiman Jr. is a fucking joke. You know, ordering Keith Thurman two man, two separate mandatory set of ordering one mandatory fight, and then they fight Keith Thurman at the end of the year. He a joke, man. Ranking Pavekin back after he got popped twice just because he pays a half a million dollars to WBC. Oh, you can be ranked number two and number three right off rip, top five. Man, boxing is, they basically waving the motherfucking script, WWE script on our face saying, we do what we want, you guys still gonna pay to watch. It is what it is, TBC, we gone.